So find somewhere to sit for a few minutes. And let us take a long, deep breath. And allow the body to relax. Let the thoughts come to the center of the forehead. I turn within. I let the mind become silent, still. I let the body relax. I feel a sense of quietness and peace. Who am I? I am an eternal being. Playing my part through the body. I let the shoulders relax. I disconnect my thoughts from all things outside. I let the mind relax into the music. accept myself as I am. I am a soul at peace. I accept the home that I am in. I am in a place of peace. I accept all things as they are. And in this moment, I hold my peace. I am at peace with myself. I am at peace with the world. Shanti. There is nothing better than a good dose of meditation. And I hope you guys are having your daily dose of meditation. 
Welcome again to Miami Brahma Kumari's Facebook meditation. Uh, my name is Dave and this is Vijay. We're sharing with you a few things which is happening today. It's the International Day of Peace, 21st of September every year. We spend some time in reflecting about peace how to experience peace, how to have inner peace, how to spread peace in the world. And meditation is the first stage of experiencing peace, is the first step. And I hope it's an easy exercise for all of you and I hope that you are practicing. And there's so much information on the Miami Brahma Kumaris Facebook page and Miami Brahma Kumari's YouTube page. So um, today a lot of people all over the world have been having activities of peace, activities dedicated to promoting peace in the world. And so Vijay, uh, well how do you experience your day of International Day of Peace? It has always reminded me to be peaceful. I remember we have been doing this for some years and uh, when I started, I, I started with the intention of helping the world become peaceful. How did that work out? So I, <laughs> I don't think it worked out at all. It was trying for other people to become peaceful. Uh, we had programs, I participated in programs, and we discussed peace, and I hope that other people will become peaceful. And I thought in my mind, it's great, if they all become peaceful, then we will have a peaceful world. But over the years, I have changed the view. I have changed that point of view. I think it is uh, probably easier for me <laughs> to just work on me becoming peaceful. And, uh, Absolutely. I mean, a lot of time we fall into the trap that, you know, the other person should be um, better or peace, be at peace. But what about me? What about, what about my thoughts? Uh, what, of, what about my racing mind? My uneasiness? And do I get worried? Do I get uh, sh uh, shaken easily? when somebody says something or if somebody uh, do something, you know, uh, you know, meditation, we're coming back to that. Meditation is the most stable art form you can find to create that inner peace. Uh, and all over the world today, people have been uh, using songs, music, and dance, um, I know the peace, some, the, not the shift movement, and they have been doing something since Friday for world peace. Uh, a lot of artists all around the world have been doing that. Um, so, so that's on an external level. But what we are trying to concentrate here is about me, how I am feeling. What could I do for myself to be in that state of peace? Um, so, Vijay, how do you... Um... Well, yes, I have been, you know, one of the ways to become more peaceful is to give up some of your ambitions. Um, give up your ambition? What yes, do you mean? So I'm no longer trying to be the most good-looking guy. In the oh, world. well, yeah, yeah, he has um, gone a long time ago, bro. <laughs> I'm no longer trying to be the richest guy in the world. I'm no longer trying to be the center of attention for everyone else. I am no longer trying to, you know, get all of those things that I thought a successful person had. I, I used to think, you know, a su successful gentleman would be nicely dressed, <laughs> good looking, uh, have a lot of money, a nice car, etc., etc. So I have given up a lot of those and I have gone for the simple food, shelter, and what else? <laughs> <laughs> food, shelter, and happiness. Food, food, food and shelter. 
And I find that has brought a lot of peace because a lot of the struggles and the jealousies and the other um, emotions that went with trying to hold on to these fleeting goals, I just gave up the goal <laughs> because I couldn't get it. So I gave up the goal and that brought a lot of peace. So yeah. there are no battles based on that. So in other words, you had more moments of peace. Yes, by so there was more by, time of silence because you found that you had too much, uh, too many things in your in your goal to achieve. Too many things, and one of the things I give up is other op people's opinions of me. While I do appreciate what people say, and I do take it into consideration, I don't take it personally. I don't take it deeply. So some people like me, most people don't like me. Is it, you know? How do you mean well, you're a very likable guy? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see how much like we will have on Facebook. Eh? Yeah. I <laughs> mean, there's so many people in the world. There's always some people better than me and some people worse than me. So you're just another, you know, number. So what is there to like or dislike? I, re I think satisfaction really comes from your own self-actualization. Finding your own peace within you and achieving the goals you want to achieve personally based on, you know, your inner motivation. Yeah, so, you know, that's where inner motivation and where thoughts for peace. I mean, when you wake up in the morning, what do you think? Do you think about the problems which is ahead of you? Or do you stop and spend a moment and think peace? And I, I, you know, I challenge everybody who's listening to do that, stop a moment and think peace before you start thinking about the different challenges you might have in the world for the day. And so the thought process in peace, you know, have a stop and have a thought for peace. And next is an action for peace. So how do you, what kind, what's the simplest action you uh, might have for peace, Vijay? <laughs> okay, that's friendship, yes. <laughs> I, I think that um, once I started to think peace and um, focus on my own peace, actually, uh, I also began to realize there are peaceful ways to do things. There are peaceful ways to respond. There are peaceful ways to solve problems. A lot of it requires patience and requires the time to come up with the most peaceful solution. Uh, peaceful solutions are not popular, as we are used to seeing, you know, Western movies, where you, you know, oh. you solve yeah, the stop problem. looking at Western movies. You solve the problem <laughs> with violence. <laughs> but after a while, if you think about it, you will be able to find peaceful solutions to problems. It does take longer, and it does take more patience, but it can work. So peaceful way to speak, using more peaceful words, that is words that are not loaded with emotions and words that are not loaded with guilt, and words that doesn't make other people feel bad. So peaceful words, peaceful jokes, you know, so that we can create peaceful or respectful way of living so that it increases our capacity for peace. So you said peaceful joke, you could crack, crack a peaceful joke here for us? Well, we don't want to crack it. That's the uh, okay, all right. That looks like violent. <laughs> so, you know, have... Peaceful eating. Oh, that's that's interesting. Peaceful eating. Does that mean that we all going to become vegan? Well, that, yeah, that is more peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> Being vegan and vegetarian, I suppose, is more peaceful than... Um, you don't create violence, uh, killing animals. Right. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, activity which we can continue to have. I mean, International Day of Peace is just uh, a reminder to the world that we are peaceful beings. We are meant to be at peace with ourselves, with our neighbors, in our community, and with nature, most of all. Uh, we are seeing the, a lot of natives flying up all over the world, hurricanes, seeing a lot of fires in the west coast and some areas around the west coast. And of course we had Hurricane Sally in Florida in the Panhandle last week. 
a lot of people have been distressed by these, all, all these natural calamities. And, you know, your thought of sending thoughts of peace will help alleviate some of these pain. And a lot of time we underestimate the value of our thoughts, of our thinking, because thoughts is energy. Thoughts move and it goes out. And you could never know who can benefit from your peaceful vibration, your peaceful energy of thinking. So as we continue the journey of peace, spreading peace in the world, uh, let's be aware that we are, we can be, and we will be always at peace with the Salam. So, until then, so, you have anything else yes, to say? I wanted to yes? share that um, we are not able to control the circumstances. So, hurricanes can come, disruptions can come, but what I could try to control is my response to those circumstances. So I could respond in a peaceful way. So if the hurricane comes, um, I prepare as best I can, and then let it be. And once it is over, then I do my best to bring benefit to others, to clear the place. Um, the thing is what I can manage is while there is a hurricane outside, I don't have to have a hurricane inside. <laughs> inside I can, you know, take a methodical approach, see who needs help, you know, bring benefit to others, and do everything step by step. Because um, there has been hurricanes before, people survived, and whatever happened, hopefully we will survive also. So I think the change for me is to adopt a peaceful response to whatever the situation may be. One of the ways for that peaceful response is to prepare. I prepare as best I can. And I think that allows me to be peaceful at the time of need. All right, great. So let us have moments for peace, thoughts for peace, and action for peace. It all can be done with you, by you, and for you. So until then, goodbye, have a good night.